It is now time to send you through that emanating smoke cloud. Good luck, Godspeed, and we'll see you back here for that free beer at the mothership about two hours from right now. Do it in three, two, one. It's on. Well, uh, to get ready for the uh, race, we just, um, you know, we worked out and we did some running every other day and then, you know, we go to the gym every other day and so then actually we go to a, like a playground, actually, in a park and just, like, do pull-ups and just, you know, get, get yourself limbered up, but what did you do? I don't know. I, I ran the, the half marathon and then um, I did a lot of, like, kettlebell training, a lot of push-ups, a lot of sit-ups, that kind of thing. I did nothing. <laughs> Nothing, and we'll find out later what happens. <laughs> It was, was a lot of soap, and every time you try to go up, you would slide back down, and I hurt my shoulder and my tooth. But I managed to get over it. The easiest one. The easiest one was probably the running. It was, it was, it was pretty hard, but not as much as this. But it was the running was the easiest one. Come on, Ronald, you got this. We got the parents lining up, we got cameras out. Let's go out! Well, what I did was I started like five months ago. I used to run a lot less. I used to run five miles, 50 pounds on my back, over a bridge, stop, stop, non stop. And I used to run like from my house to school, which is eight miles. And I did bleacher laps and a lot of push ups and set ups. And I got me over here. Dare I say it's very Spartonian, which is definitely a euphemism on the higher level than incredible. What's going to happen out here with that junior sport? Well, this is my first time doing any kind of race. I've never done a marathon or nothing, but it felt great. This is my first time doing it, but I work out a lot. And my goal was an hour and a half, and I managed to do it an hour and a half. I feel so proud of myself.